Hey guys, welcome to the Red Rook Podcast. I'm Peyton. Episode 2! That's Nick. Yeah, that was me. Sorry guys. I'm Jacob. I'm Leah. Leah's joining us over Google Hangout, so she might sound a little bit different. Less enthusiastic, perhaps? Uh, I'm sorry. (laughs) It's good to have you with us, Leah. It's also kind of late, let's be honest. The uh, first topic of discussion we've got, what misconception did you have as a kid that... Uh, you found out was not true. And how did you find out that it wasn't true? Well, everyone's looking at me. Yeah, we're looking at you because you're the one we want to start off. Is it because I have misconceptions about things? Am I, am I, 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 t- am I typically you wrong? I having misconceptions about things. I, I, just, I just do. Um, okay, I guess I had a misconception about how easy it is to buy and prepare food for yourself. <laughs> now that I, I live by myself and have to make my own food. And holy shit, that's a lot harder than I thought it was. Because I was just thinking like, I'm just going to buy cereal, sandwich meat, and then I guess like something else, and I'll be set for life. Uh, sandwiches, cereal, and ramen is a lonely existence that, I, that you don't want to commit yourself to. So uh, cooking is harder than uh, you think, and you have to learn recipes, but it's, it can wait, be fun. That's not really a terrible that diet. What, wait, Do you seriously on, eat that every day? Ramen? I, I don't eat ramen anymore. I've, I've evolved. Oh, easy way to eliminate carbs. I got rid of uh, tortilla chips out of my diet. I now use carrot chips to dip in salsa and guacamole because the calories from chewing a carrot is equal to the calories found in a carrot. So uh, you're welcome, Internet. You know what you should really try, Jacob? Yeah? Sweet potato chips. That is yeah, best sweet potato chips. So well, I don't really like potatoes because potatoes are super high in carbs, anyways. Also, I got a food dehydrator so I can make banana and apple chips from dehydrating yeah. those, and that's so good. But yeah, Those my are roommate like gets gross, potato chips. I, I always remember when I would go grocery shopping with my mom, that would always be the sample that was out at Kroger, and it was always so gross. I can't believe you like that stuff. Completely irrelevant. It's not pleasant. Because you're talking about sandwiches, I started thinking about one thing, and that thing led to another thing, and then I thought about bodies being stuffed in boxes, and that led oh. me to thinking about Portal 2. How do you, how do you get to... All right, there's a theory that the companion cube is the is really it holds the remains of past test um chain, oh, past people right. that run the I, test I chamber i guess that. like the their corpses are in the body and the reason that you never have a companion cube when you walk through the energy wall that gets rid of your portals and uh rearms your portal gun is because it disintegrates the cubes uh the normal cubes and uh if it were to disintegrate the companion cube then the corpse would fall out all right um <laughs> This is also going to seem very disconnected because I started thinking about corpses and then I started thinking about sugars and I started thinking about diabetes and then I started thinking about sugars again. Hey, diabetes is no joke. Diabetes. Yeah, Nick's, Nick's white knighting right now. What? Uh, yeah. you're, you're the girl who has diabetes? It's uh, is that a problem? I mean, for her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, it was just my friend, uh, he deserves to have diabetes like type 12. I walk downstairs and I'm with another friend, uh, and his, this is a few years ago, uh, we go to his house, his mom lets us in, he's hanging out in the basement. We walk down the stairs and we see him sitting on the couch watching the television and he's got a bowl and it's like a cereal bowl with the straw built in so that he can sip the milk oh, out. Those are so good. Those are the done. best kinds of bowls to have. But he's holding the spoon in a really weird way. And it wasn't like it wasn't like it took me a while. I was like looking at the spoon like, what is he doing? It was just something I noticed. I was like, what are you eating? And then he said sugar. Just like like the bowl was filled with sugar. Like I mean, powdered that, sugar. If you look at most and, cereals, that's roughly a pretty accurate approximation. So I want to verify this. And so I walk over to the bowl I look inside, and there's sugar in it. He's just eating sugar. And occasionally, he'll retire the spoon and then use the straw to suck sugar up from the bottom. And he's so spooning and sucking. <laughs> That's a classic date for me. But no, he's, he's totally, fu- totally fine. No diabetes. Continue. How have you made a rude person's day worse? Uh, we all know be, that we all know that kind of person. By being a rude person. He's kind of a douche, and you know he's being a douche to people, and you... You know that you can do something to prove them wrong. Okay, so I come downstairs, like, and very rarely do you, like, there's, there are things that you know this about. This is in a frat house. He comes downstairs in a frat house. Yeah, so there's people downstairs eating, and I hear them talking about Bitcoin, a topic which, thanks to Peyton, I'm very well versed in and knowledgeable about. 
and there ha- this guy's talking about him, and he's clearly wrong. And I just literally I walk in and I give him a I, I basically say no, you're wrong. Here's what bitcoins really are, and the person sitting right next to him goes, "Motherfucker just schooled you." <laughs> and, and then the guy he he's like, "No, no, no." And he goes, "But that doesn't explain this." And then I immediately go, "Yes, it does." Or did you not hear me say this thing? And then the guy goes, "Motherfucker just schooled you again." But um, other thing happened today. Randomly, I I was walking to class today, and I saw someone backing up in a car. Literally hit someone with their bumper, like just hit a kid with a backpack on, just walking by. And me, I look at this kid like, did that guy just hit you? And he looks at me, and I have one of those moments where you see a stranger and you instantly bond over the absurdity (laughs) of the situation. And we both look at the driver. And just we fly our fingers off. And we're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And this this guy just like, oh, no. Nah. And just drives off. And we're just looking at him like, I could later I went with the guy. I'm like, what an asshole. He's like, I know, right? And I'm like, see ya. I got to go. To, I got to go get lunch. He's like, I got to go to class. And that was the last I saw of him. The mysterious man who was attacked by a bumper. But it we sounds bonded. like like a romantic comedy. Yeah, like That's this is the life. beginning of Anyone one of those really bad on? movies with like Jennifer Aniston. I'm in thinking it. I see oh, Jacob, Jennifer and Aniston. This, Jacob and this kid, and they're gonna go on a date. He was Ashton Kutcher looking. They're gonna Without go the on camera. a date as a joke. They're gonna go on a date as a joke, right? They're gonna be like, "Hey, dude, do you want to go on a date just like to be funny?" And the course, the kid on the sidewalk's like, "What? What? That, that wouldn't be funny at all. What are you talking about?" And then he'll go home, and they'll have exchanged numbers, and he'll be thinking back, like, it'll be Friday night, and this kid will be alone, and he'll be like, maybe I should go hang out with that. Maybe I should go hang out with Jacob. And then I'll call Jacob up, and he'll be like, hey, do you want to do that date as a joke? And then Jacob will be like, dude, what are you talking about? What? What? Go on a date as a joke? It doesn't even make sense. And then, and then the guy will be like, oh, no, I meant, I meant a real date. And then Jay will be like, I'm just kidding, let's go on that date. And then oh, wait, 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 what? I just but got it's a joke date. And then they'll have, and then they'll have sex. <laughs> then, but, but, but it was a joke. It I think we've successfully, successfully concocted the worst rom-com <laughs> script ever thought it's... of. It, it doesn't happen that fast. There's got to be more Dude, anger I can't defend from this both plot. sides. I don't know, man. I'm saying it was shallow and it was contrived. And I, I, could, I, didn't I appreciate could sell it. this script. I didn't appreciate it. I didn't appreciate it. Kids who buy essays online. <laughs> I wrote an essay once after drinking, and my teacher said my essay was overly antagonistic. Because <laughs> it was about this guy who was afraid the internet was making us dumber, and I said he was stupid for thinking that. And then I said he was only afraid because he wrote for a magazine, and the internet's quickly replacing print media, and he's afraid of losing his job. And I said, of course <laughs> a person from a magazine would write something like this when his medium is the one that's being out-phased by the internet. And she goes, you make some good points, but you come off overly antagonistic and needlessly... Um, critical of the author's uh, opinions. Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't like really like the tone of your essay. Hey, here's a, here's something interesting. Is there a person, a stranger, who you've met once in your entire life, more likely to never meet again, be that you still think about? I met Santa, <laughs> the real Santa, in Walmart. The, you met it the real Santa. It was November. He was a big guy wearing a red shirt. <laughs> blue jeans with the biggest beard I've ever seen and he was buying a ham. A what? A ham. A ham. That's so sad. Yeah, I was like eight. And my mom and I looked at each other and we knew that it was the real Santa Claus. Wow, that would be really old to look like Santa and have every little kid you walk by think you're Santa. (laughs) It would get so old. Isn't he in those like... Most like like him. People trying to... Yeah. People, People trying to be like Hey, can I get this for Christmas? You're like, yeah, fucking kid. Well, I don't... The thing is, though, what really, like, puts the icing on the cake was that he was wearing a red shirt. Like, I don't think that I would have made that association and remembered it, but he was dressed the part. I really think it was him. What about you, Peyton? I didn't... Okay. What about me? I've got one. Okay, Jacob. Um, I, was, I met this one girl at a party that oh. I danced with, and I remember she did the dance from Pulp Fiction where they do the little spy thing. And then they do the little fish thing. And she literally did the sequence of dance moves exactly like that one scene in Pulp Fiction when um, John Travolta is dancing with Uma Thurman. Don't know why it took me so long to say that. Right. Anyways, in that scene, and she does the little spy followed by the little like guy doing the scuba thing. 
And I was dancing with this girl at a party, and she did those exact two dance moves. And she seems like – then she, like, went out to, like – she had to go meet some friends. And I, I, like, walked her out, and I said bye to her and stuff. And I regret so much not getting her number because she seemed like – not only do I love that movie, but she seemed really cool. And I, some, I just wonder, I'm like, maybe I'll run into her again. And I haven't yet, but I've wanted to. Unless so, she got, like, extremely fat and she dyed her hair and I don't recognize her or something. <laughs> now, that's a possibility, but I haven't seen her. Uh, um, All right, there's one. The only stranger that I can that I can remember, like, off the top of my head. Oh, I now remember one. I have a better one. I'm going to take back my old answer and replace it with this next one. Mine's a really boring story. I was really excited to get to the play set at McDonald's that my grandfolks took me to. And I almost ran into this guy, and I said sorry, and then I moved out of his way. And then as I was running away, I heard him say, no, that's all right. It was my bad, too. Such a fucking pain story. And then I remember <laughs> just recently, there was a kid who was running to get to the playset. This time it was a Chick-fil-A, not McDonald's. And then as I said sorry, he moved out of the way, I said, it's all right. It's my bad, too. And then I didn't realize that I had the exact same exchange to like a few, sec- few uh, seconds, minutes. It was almost a minute. Almost Intervals a minute of time. That happened today. Yeah. So remember you. I remember you saying telling that story, and I was in the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, and I, really, I came back, and I heard, I heard Courtney and Leah and you laughing about it, and I was like, "Damn it, I missed something." Nah, she didn't. <laughs> well, she now you know. For it, and no one would laugh at that story. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> it literally sucks. Here, okay. I laughed and I My story. Laughed today. I'm sure Courtney laughed. Okay, today. I was Courtney, on a. I was. Oh, thanks, I, Leah. <laughs> I've got. I've got an actual one. I was on a family trip, with my friend. Um, I will call him Johnny. And the rest of my family. And we were going to a river. We were going to like go tubing down a river. And as we're going up, we're going up this winding Fuck. mountain. And my mom God ends up... It. Sorry, yeah. continue. I dropped my... <laughs> God damn it. I dropped my full mountain on my laptop. Yep. God Poor damn guy. It. He's not coordinated. It's okay. Um, we end up driving up this long winding hill around the mountain. And my mom ends up like veering off into this uh, little ditch. And she's stuck. It just so happens that at this time... A man wearing a bandana and a tie-dye shirt with a wolf pup. Not a dog, it's a wolf pup. Comes by and goes, are you guys in trouble? I'm like, yeah, our car's stuck. And as this happened, my friend just threw up. Johnny. He just threw up just like randomly. And the guy goes, that doesn't look too good. And he's like, listen, I got a truck. I can haul you guys out. So he hauls out the truck and he goes, I actually have a... um." I actually have a little uh, shack not near, but not too far from here where I sell food. If you guys want to come by and ha- try some, I mean, you don't have to. Um, it's on the way to the, uh, the river. This is the premise of a horror story. And um, we're like, yeah, sure, of course. We go, and this guy who has a wolf pup has this pizza parlor, like, on the side of the mountain. That, <laughs> and he has, like, the I can best describe him as a, as a hippie with short hair because he's, like, it's all about peace and love and pizza. Totally laundering. There's no way he sells a lot of pizza. I, I he had really good pizza. I'm just not convinced that it was a wolf pup. It was probably like a Siberian. It husky. was a no. It was a wolf. I've I've it seen. Was, I know. Uh, yeah, I've seen Siberian huskies. It was a. I wolf just think pup. it was a mutt, Jacob. I don't believe the wolf thing. No one keeps a wolf pup. I have always wanted a wolf. Why must you? No one has a pizza. Why must you kill my dreams? A, no one has a pizza parlor on the side. No, of it was near a boat rental shack. I will always believe in this man. My th- mom and I always look at each other and we'll say, the hippie with short hair. And she's like, you know what I'm talking about. I always tell you guys this, like, my my yearning desire to go out into the wild and have a have a wolf, like, find a wolf baby out in the middle of the forest and, like, take it in as my own and raise it and domesticate the wolf. <laughs> First episode of Game of Thrones, what? I always hear stories about people domesticating wild animals, and it always works out. Like it's You're, always got to happen. Yeah, your mom there's never the people who didn't work. Cat. They're they're dead. Your mom domesticated. Your mom took in a fair, a pregnant feral cat, and then it hated everyone. Into and your it home. Stayed in my basement and clawed at the door trying to get out. Yeah, and then but when we let it out, it clawed at the people trying to get out. <laughs> <laughs> and then she died of unhappiness. That's a natural progression. You should get a weenie dog. A Those weenie. things are fierce. <laughs> but they're still little. They're Much fierce. like mine. That's they, what the ladies tell I don't, me. I don't think, I don't think they're lining up with, uh, with Nick's macho. Uh, <laughs> That's what the ladies <laughs> say about my weenie. A macho kind of thing with the wolves. <laughs> Not a dog. <laughs> it looks like a I don't know that a weenie dog. dog would fit the fit the profile. Because <laughs> Nick, Nick wants to be a Navy SEAL. And yeah, I do. <laughs> Nick, Nick being a Navy SEAL with a lot of knives. He's already accomplished a lot of knives. He's got knives a bookshelf part. at his house full of knives. Yes, I don't, you I should do. just get a pet SEAL. 
But he's got to be would a, I get so much cuter. Because then the seal won't. The, like if I if I had a pet seal, then I couldn't go hunting with my pet seal. Elephant seals eat penguins. That's sad because those are way cuter than seals. Seals are pretty cute. Have even, you seen the penguins? Have you seen a seal? Especially a deli penguins. Those are so cute. I went to the Georgia Aquarium Wait, recently. Hold on. Nick's looking through the top posts on Ask Reddit. Why is help Reddit, Reddit turn Spanish and I cannot undo it? One of the top posts ever. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> it looks like someone's asking for tech help. and it's What? That's really funny. Maybe it's a, it's a recurring problem. <laughs> it's a bunch of people. <laughs> all the replies are in Spanish. <laughs> 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 all right. So I think we should take some time to talk about, um, you know, before we close, I think we should talk about our uh, latest. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about the channel. Oh, shot. Yeah. The thing that we all actually care about and are not self praising ourselves over. That's great. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we recently if you haven't released... looked at it, which you probably have if you're looking at this video, yeah. we uh, released an episode of Rookshot last week, um, and we're really happy with it, so you should totally go and watch it. It's a Halo 3 machinima, um, and we're coming out with a new episode within the next week, um, and that features... Give me two weeks. I, I wouldn't say the next vocals. week. Within the next two weeks. There is a lot of this content. This is a big... Oh, two weeks, excuse one. me, sorry. We're, we're starting off really strong so that we can only go up, or... Actually, if we that's actually not how that works, Nick. It's more likely for us to go down. Yeah. (laughs) Don't worry. That would never. We'd never do that to you. Yours. We promise. But uh, yeah, next episode's got a lot in store. Um, there's a musical number. Yeah, there's a musical number. I uh. No, you know we uh, when we we started this uh, we started this machinima. The Peyton had the idea for it for about six years, and I had the idea of the three characters: Dakota, Addison, and Mark. And a rough idea of the relationship that the three of them would have. And as I've tried, as I've rewritten it and tried to make it every time, the details of each character have changed. Like, what they do have cha- has changed a little bit. But the relationship between them has always remained the same. Eighth grade. Um, back then it was called Fugitive Pie. Oh, God, I remember this. <laughs> I remember uh, this, too. I, uh, I don't know that much about this, but I do remember the first date that I ever went on with Peyton... He talked. He told me like the entire thing. I just think uh, it's so funny that like that's what this is now. Yeah, yeah. it was, it was something that was one of the one of the phases that so, I was going through. So right? when in the date, if you want to like you know make it real, like guarantee the second date, do you bring up your uh, fantasies <laughs> of making a machinima? I told is that like in the first hey, half I, I or the them, latter half? I, I told I told Courtney about the fact that we were making a podcast in a machinima. I believe the second date. Okay. So, there's, so there's you, that. Is, save that like, for the second. That, <laughs> save it for like the second. It's like one of those things that you have to dis- that you have to disclose early. You need to <laughs> let them know ahead of time, so they're like, "Wow, this kid is really weird. What am I doing here? I should go leave town." And or at least, they decide to stick at least with you. before it gets to long term serious stuff, you know, like if you date someone for more than like three or four months and you see it going for a long time, you do have to occasionally slip in something like. I want kids. I don't want kids. So that you don't end up wasting all your time. You know, if 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 I were to like keep it from Leah all this time that I was making a Halo 3 machinima and then I told her, like I feel like that could be some sort of deal breaker. So I figured I'm nah, I'm pretty well sure the rest of your personality would fit right in there. She wouldn't be like, what this super ultra cool bad boy makes Halo 3 machinima that's so out of character for him. I don't think that she would have a revelation like that. I think that she'd go like that's your big secret? Yeah, I thought you, I was worried for a minute. That's okay, it. Obviously, I was making a satire when No, was... no, for paid not. I mean, that's, that's, that's just the worst he's got. All right. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Nick. I'm Peyton. I'm Jacob. And I'm Leah. Bye.